Welcome to Colorado 47. Your primary target is Dr. Bradley Payne. From what I can determine, he's already infected a number of militia members with Nabazov's virus. To ensure containment, we must eliminate everyone who has been in contact with it. I'm pulling up details on whom that might be, and will pass it on to you as soon as possible. It will be piecemeal, however. I suggest you do not engage the primary target until we are certain that all the infected have been eliminated. Good hunting. I'm looking at the data now. I'll have some intel for you shortly. The target did three tours as an IED expert. Confirmed, 47. Bradley Payne has been eliminated. Now focus on the poor sods he infected. Your target has a police record. Explosives and banks. Charm. Check the explosives range. That was a non-target, 47. Stay focused. That wasn't one of your targets, 47. Wait, 47. One of the infected is trying to escape. Take him down now. We can't let any of them get away. Welcome to Colorado, 47. Your primary target is Dr. Bradley Payne. From what I can determine, he's already infected a number of militia members with Nabazov's virus. To ensure containment, we must eliminate everyone who has been in contact with it. I'm pulling up details on whom that might be, and will pass it on to you as soon as possible. It will be piecemeal, however. I suggest you do not engage the primary target until we are certain that all the infected have been eliminated. Good hunting. I'm looking at the data now. I'll have some intel for you shortly. Hmm. Scottish accent... Hard of hearing. Confirmed, 47. Bradley Payne has been eliminated. Now focus on the poor sods he infected. The target did three tours as an IED expert for Cicada. He's likely to be near the explosives range, down by... He wasn't one of your targets, 47. Welcome to Colorado, 47. Your primary target is Dr. Bradley Payne. From what I can determine, he's already infected a number of militia members with Nabazov's virus. To ensure containment, we must eliminate everyone who has been in contact with it. I'm pulling up details on whom that might be, and will pass it on to you as soon as possible. It will be piecemeal, however. I suggest you do not engage the primary target until we are certain that all the infected have been eliminated. Good hunting. I'm looking at the data now. I'll have some intel for you shortly. You're looking for a target in the garage area. Most likely. Confirmed, 47. Bradley Payne has been eliminated. Now focus on the poor sods he infected. The target is a mechanic or similar. There's a carpool and garage near the red barn. Look for him there. Here we go, 47. We're looking for someone eating. Not a huge help, I know. Right. This should be helpful. We're looking for a mechanic, 47, but not one actively working on a vehicle. He's on a break right now, likely resting.
Can you see him? That was a non-target, 47. Stay focused. Here we go. This should help ID him. He's smoking now. There's no more information, 47. Review the intel I've found for you so far. You should have enough to ID him. That wasn't one of your targets, 47. That was a non-target kill, 47. Be more careful, please. He wasn't one of your targets, 47. That wasn't one of your targets, 47. That was a non-target, 47. Stay focused. He wasn't one of your targets, 47. That was a non-target kill, 47. Be more careful, please. That was a non-target, 47. Stay focused. Another one of the infected is making a run for it. Take him down now, 47. Escaping patient eliminated, 47. Well done. One of the infected targets is trying to escape. Take the shot. Forty-seven, we can't let any of the infected get away. Take him out now before he escapes. Welcome to Colorado, Forty-seven. Your primary target is Dr. Bradley Payne. From what I can determine, he's already infected a number of militia members with Nabazov's virus. To ensure containment, we must eliminate everyone who has been in contact with it. I'm pulling up details on whom that might be, and will pass it on to you as soon as possible. It will be piecemeal, however. I suggest you do not engage the primary target until we are certain that all the infected have been eliminated. Good hunting. I'm looking at the data now. I'll have some intel for you shortly. 
You're looking for a target in the central greenhouse area, possibly in the nearby orchard or field canteen. That wasn't one of your targets, 47. The target is near the greenhouse. Let me see. The target is on a laptop, 47. Not sure why. Let me check his script logs. Oh. I do hope he has someone to clear his browser history. This should help you narrow the search down a little. The target is assigned to the mess. Look for someone cooking in the field kitchen. That was a non-target kill, 47. Be more careful, please. The target is near the field kitchen. Wait, 47. One of the infected is trying to escape. Take him down now. We can't let any of them get away. That was a non-target, 47. Stay focused. One of the infected targets has almost escaped 47. Take the shot. That's the first infected target eliminated 47. I'll get to work on the next one. The target is ex-Special Forces, recruited for an assault operation. He'll almost certainly be near the shooting range. There's something here. This is specific. The target is injured. He's limping. Wait one second, 47. I have an update. The target signed for an assault rifle and several hundred rounds of ammunition. Look for someone shooting. Have you located him? That wasn't one of your targets, 47. That was a non-target kill, 47. Be more careful, please. Right. This should be helpful. He's making a phone call, right now. That's all I can find on this target 47. Remember to review your intel. There should be enough information to locate him. Forty-seven. The doctor is making a run for it. Take him down, now!
Confirmed, 47. Bradley Payne has been eliminated. Now focus on the poor sods he infected. Back to the target, 47, near the shooting range. He wasn't one of your targets, 47. That was a non-target, 47. Stay focused. Elimination confirmed. Good work. I'll get to work on identifying the next one. Your target has a police record. Explosives and banks. Charming. Check the explosives range near the windmill. I have something, 47. That was a non-target kill, 47. Be more careful, please. That wasn't one of your targets, 47. Here we go, 47. From the doctor's journal. Subject displaying symptomatic pruritus indicative of imminent skin lesions. Lovely. Look for someone scratching himself. That was a non-target, 47. Stay focused. Another one of the infected is making a run for it. Take him down now, 47. Forty-seven, we can't let any of the infected get away. Take him out now before he escapes. Target eliminated. I'll have intel on the final infected target shortly. The target... That was a non-target kill, Forty-seven. Be more careful, please. Look for the target in the overgrown junkyard toward the main gate, by the water tower. Most likely one of the soldiers. Let me see. That wasn't one of your targets, 47. Let me just confirm. Yes, that's all of them. Good. We're done here, 47. Get out of that tower and head for the airstrip. The Isle of Scale, headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. 
The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. Seriously, I'll, I'll pay you. You're the man I'm a multiple Tony award-winning playwright. And famously reclusive. It's part of my brand.
Thank you. Good night. Thank Christ. Ready when you are. A handsome pledge, and yet a drop in the ocean. Zoe Washington, the Ark Society recognizes you as our founder's rightful successor, our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. Patrons of the Ark Society, you are part of a select chosen few. Our founder, Janus, showed us how to survive, but survival is not enough. We must live, and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress. Be it our next home in the stars, or the next step in human evolution. This is the eternal purpose of the Elite. Not just to lead, but to lead from the front. When the time comes, and all comes tumbling down, when mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition, we will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers, the trailblazers, and pioneers. Do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud. Be fearless. For the future is ours to shape. Hello, sir. Look at you, Feniger. All dressed to kill. Now, let's do this thing. Light her up. As the world burns, you can use we rise from its ashes, not just to survive, but to live. Nice work, 47. Next up, Sophia Washington. Council's still in 
discussion? No, they've called a recess. Sophia Washington. And it's back home. No, they've called a recess. up to this time. You know that Kronstadt designer in charge of the great upload program? Oh, old castles like this. I'm sure there must be a lot of secret passageways. I suppose you're right. I never really thought about it. When I was little, my dad used to rent a castle for me and my friends on my birthday. So we could park. You look well, sir. One time, the au pair's son was invited, and we convinced him to go get married. Never saw him. My parents had to get a new au pair, and I never got the mark again. Oh dear, that must have been terrible for you. It was. All that chain mail, just gathering dust in a closet. Fine. 
but fallouts make the devil. Miss Washington, anything, sir. after due consideration, I have revised my position. I would like to support your motion. Well, well, look at you, Block. Finding your good sense in men. Hello, sir. Come on, then. I'll call a vote at once. I don't care how much titanium you have. I knew you'd come around. You're a stubborn, Block, but you're not a schmuck. You know I'm right. The analysts of my father's think tank have been grinding the data for months, and they are rarely wrong. The Karuna Agreement, climate litigation. We estimate that fossil fuel companies like yours have a decade, at best, before you're all resigned to the junkyard of history. And what kind of secret society would we be if we didn't keep each other in power? What indeed? I knew we could talk sense. Just vote in favor of my motion, and I promise you, Block, you'll power the world for decades to come. Well, who cares how, as long as you're the one getting paid. Ain't that the truth? Friends and founders, the recess is over. Let's return to the council room and proceed with the vote. Freaking me out. Sir. Let's reiterate. For decades, you, the titans of the energy industry, have conspired to obscure the truth about climate change through lobbying, misinformation, and propaganda. This strategy has been incredibly successful, but all good things must come to an end. It is time for you to adapt or die, ladies and gentlemen. This is why our analysts have devised a 10-year transition plan to keep you in power. Play this right, and you will not only thrive, but this time, you will be the good guys. In other words, you have nothing to lose. So, everyone in favor, say aye. 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 Yay or nay, Block? Silence is consent. Nay. Excuse me? You heard me. Nay. Oh, for the love of... Ah, idiot. Son of a... Blocked. You stupid... Ugh. That's... Four eyes and one nay. Jebediah Block vetoes the motion. This council is adjourned until further notice. Block. A word? Upstairs. Right away, please. So, are you gonna tell me what the hell you're playing at? Just looking out for number one. Don't be an idiot. There's no future in coal, Block. You have one choice. Go green or go extinct. Now, 
Personally, I don't give a shit if you go the way of the Dodo, but you are one of the Ark Society's biggest contributors. We'd hate to lose your business. Besides, if terrestrial cold goes under, who will pay for your children's survival? Your grandkids. After all, nobody says disaster will strike in our lifetime. You have a moral duty to stay rich, Block. Nice try, but I don't have grandchildren. You just had to make this difficult, didn't you? Here's the deal, Block. My family and I, we serve a group of powerful individuals who prefer to stay anonymous. Letting the climate go to hell in a handbasket has served their interests well, but only up to a point. You see, they are sitting on some patents that'll knock your socks off. Weather control systems, recycling pollution as fuel, cold fusion, you name it. And they plan to make trillions protecting the world from the very threat they worked so hard to create. But to do so, they need you guys to quite literally stop fighting windmills. Huh. The truth at last. And what's in it for Jebediah Block? Gentlemen, please give me and Mr. Block a moment. offered you a carrot. Now, here's the stick. We know about Montana. No! Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now, to confront the Constant. Mr. Gray, what's your status? In position. Leave the Constant to me, or intercept him yourself and bring him to the harbor. Your choice, 47. Someone hey, help hey, me! Hey, hey. Well, I need you to get behind me! Oh, oh, no. No. Well, obviously! Recorder! Keep the principal safe! Now the... Clear! Oh. Reloading! Hey, I'm totally on your side here, man. Don't, don't fucking... Help me! Please! 